our roof tanks which means something is broken The new Rilalo Omni Terminator. This one has been causing some waves around YouTube with everybody testing it, saying how good it is, and everybody has pretty much loved it. Today, we're here to find out, is it actually that good though? Or is it just a built up media hype train? First of all, let's very quickly take a look inside the box. Unfortunately, there is no way to turn off the croaking sound of the frogs. There it is again, and again. Inside the box you do get this Rilalo Omni Terminator banner Also works as a thinner napkin A decal sheet for the car which I've already applied Assembly instructions for the wheelie bar and the wheels Suggestion feedback form Some more general stickers and decals which you can stick up your, I mean you can stick anywhere you want A product list listing all the aluminium upgrades and options you can buy including the all aluminium alloy kit which includes a 17 millimeter hex a massive encyclopedia of knowledge based on the Rilalo Omni Terminator also known as an instruction manual additional battery straps, cable ties and additional pieces so you can relocate your ESC to allow for a bigger battery in the battery tray spare diff gaskets, general tools and a pinion gear USB charging cable nah. empty bag containing the wheelie bar which I've already installed Dumbo RC radio transmitter and of course the actual car let's have a look at some of those features inside the car that everyone is raving about There is a 2200 mAh battery inside the car of 35C discharge Now I have a feeling that might be a little bit lacking in power and punch so I have this small shoddy pack which is 130C discharge Beautifully laid out chassis with all the electronics and components laid out very very tidily 70-75 aluminium shock towers front and rear Sway bars front and rear Aluminium shocks Adjustable rod ends for your towing Adjustable options for your caster Carbon fibre inserts on the arms and carbon fibre chassis brace Now that obviously isn't a standard feature of this version Those parts were sent kindly by Rilalo And of course if you want to upgrade or add carbon fibre parts to your um, aluminium version You can do so as well Now I've added a chassis protection sheet just to protect that beautifully etched aluminium chassis I suggest you do the same Super nice suspension everybody is raving about Let's get a battery in this thing and see if it's really as good as everybody says it is And today's testing ground is Hong Kong MX Club The best MX track here in Hong Kong If you want your child to learn to ride an MX bike or yourself want to learn to ride an MX bike make sure you check out the website and book a time oh, nice. well in this previous other RCs I've had on this track have had trouble on this surface uh, with, the, with, the, with the soil being too loose and this one's ripping around nobody's doing it Not a care in the world about these bumps. Beautiful suspension. It just handles really, really, really well. Whoop! First tumble. Responsiveness is really good guys. There's no there's no throttle delay. There's no there's no dead zone on the remote that you would find. It just goes. Oh, look at that. Super soft. Super soft landing. Barely makes a noise. It's amazing. 
Oh, there he goes. Beautiful. The way it lands is just. You see how it how it nose dived, and uh, you have to correct it yourself by throttling it. So yeah, nose heavy. Oh, oh come on. Lovely jump. Lovely little jumper. It just, like I said, it lands so smooth. Woo! Almost going off the edge again. Got a nice bit of air with that one. Still on the stock battery. I feel it does need a, a little bit of an extra kick. Nice. I see why nobody's uh, filmed this thing doing the backflip yet because it's nose heavy and um, I'm not sure it's possible. We can try. Go on then, let's try. I think this jump should be sufficient enough for a backflip. Nah, not going to do it. I gave up mid-flight. The weight bias is definitely towards the front. But it does fly well. Definitely flies well. Probably get a front flip though, right? Oh, come on, no, 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 no! Come on, man. Okay. 6,300 milliamps, 130C discharge, three cell shorty pack. Uh, can already see a big difference in the amount of punch I've got. Let's see if that helps any more with the air control. We can see if they get that, that front end up a bit. Now, the problem with this battery is it's rather big. It's quite heavy. Oh, almost. I kind of chickened out and backed off that one. Thought it was going over the edge. But uh, yes, the, the bigger battery, definitely more punch. I think this is the way to go. More punch, more power. Equals more fun. More fun equals more damage. More damage means more business to Lalo. This thing is such a blast though. I mean, I'm loving this thing. The hype is real. Woo! Front flip, yep. Unfortunately, it wasn't straight and I've gone into wherever it's gone. Oh, that doesn't look good, does it? What's going on? Oh, better not have broken it. Oh, looks like the, the dog bone has popped out, so Yes, no biggie. Uh, let me go repair that and I'll come back to you. Alright, got it fixed. Uh, not only did the dog bone come out, I actually lost one of the, the fixing screws on the wheel hubs, so I managed to find one of those. I'm standing in a, in a terrible spot because uh, I'm on a hill. Which means... Oh, I want it to go off there. Which means if this car flies at me... Oh, no. Uh, I'm going to fall off. I think what you'll find with the Omni uh, Terminator is it doesn't actually need a gyro. It tracks pretty straight on its own. Even in this this horrible, dirty environment. Oops, that's not good. Ah. Lovely. Almost cleared the whole hump. Yeah. See, after all that, guys, my chassis plate still looks pretty minty because the chassis protector. Okay, incoming. 
Oh, not over there again. Uh, I can hear the fans going and no response, which means something is broken. Probably my fault, well, definitely my fault for being a shit driver. Okay, actually nothing was broke. Uh, the uh, One of the plugs came out, or well, one of the uh, leads came out of the ESC and that was it. Now the ESC has come loose from its double-sided tape and I don't have any tape on me so probably have to cut this run short very soon. But for Alalo, it has been a pleasure. It has been an absolute honor to test this car. And uh, yes, the hype is real. This car really, really drives well. Absolute blast. Uh, nose heavy, everyone knows that already. Oh, super durable though. Oh, come on. I thought I saw smoke there, but it was dust, luckily. Yeah. Battery leads popping out, so this. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right guys, what's the damage report? Um, I'll tell you, the dog bone popped out once because I lost a screw on the hub, but that's not really damage. Uh, the ESC has come loose, just from the double-sided tape. That's not really damage, but nothing else is broken. You see, my diffs are still working. Uh, shock towers are still straight. Shocks are still working, it's still plush. Everything looks fine. Even my chassis still looks toasty because of my chassis guard. The body, no damage to my body. Now, the hype. Yeah, believe the hype. Rilalo have done an amazing job with this little thing. And it is, it is small, let's face it, uh, 110 scale, but they do call it a mini 110. It's a little bit nose heavy. It tends to go this way rather than go this way. Uh, I could not get a backflip. I could easily get front flips, but I didn't want to because I'm not very good at them. But yes, absolute beast. Absolutely recommended. Thank you, Relalo, for sending the Omni Terminator. It is a wonderful entry into the monster truck genre. Of course, if you want to buy it, the link is down below. And as always, please subscribe. Don't forget to like. And I'll see you in the next video.